So I started machining my center brace to keep the body from the chassis from flexing this way. And I just gotta finish it up a bit over here. Trim off the top a bit, even it out. So I'm gonna take out a bit at a time until we get to the right height. That's perfect. So we've got about 10 degrees here. Same thing here. Now I've pretty much already made the piece. I gotta cut out the middle area here. That's where the drive shaft is gonna go through. I'm not sure exactly what size I'm going to make it, but I'm going to wait and see what size the drive shaft is. But for now, we can put this together. I'm going to put some holes on the sides here. It shows you the screws here. And then I'm going to cut, mark a center point on my chassis, and mount it in there with some countersunk screws. I removed the chassis extensions, marked them, basically at the center point, punched a few holes, I gotta drill them out, and then I'm going to put it all back together and then match the holes with the center brace that I made and uh, drill that out and tap it and uh, we can put it all back together again. 
only to have to take it all apart again to do something else I'm pretty sure of it so uh, I'm gonna drill that out fix it all up and I'll show you what it looks like after okay so I've drilled everything out well everything out the two holes out did some countersinking see that if I leave it this way it's quite flexible if I put it down I can flex it this way right so as soon as I put this in look at that nice that's not even screwed in yet at the center of this doesn't have to be perfectly centered but centered is nice so I'm going to take the drill and uh, the drill bit that I made these holes with and simply make a mark I'm not going to drill a hole because I need it to be smaller to be able to tap it so, just begin the process with this one. There we go. Now we can take it out. So I drill the holes. And I'm using this screw to actually tap it. In softer plastics, uh, you don't really need to tap, you just use the screw. And uh, the screw will make its own threads. That way it stays nice and tight. Never over tighten in plastic, obviously. As I'm doing this, I'd like to ask you guys something. Uh, is there anything you'd like to see modified? Uh, questions you have that I can do, ways of doing things, and so on and so forth. Uh, you want to modify your car in a certain way? Uh, go ahead and ask. Uh, give me a video response if you need to show me something and uh, I'll do my best to try and answer you it's not perfect but uh, it sure looks pretty darn good to me 
maybe just fine tune it a bit once I've got everything done and all that needs to be done is some finishing touches kind of thing so there you go wow that is really really strong once I've got the drive shaft and I know how big it's going to be I can't imagine it being more than a quarter inch in diameter I'm just going to drill a hole here so that the drive shaft can go through and that's about it for now see you next time